Oh, look at the happy little Ubisoft logo. It's so nice and happy and blood red. Well, I can't say I wasn't warned that that wasn't going to happen. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Prince of Persia Warrior Within Blind. I'm your host, VGM Corn, and it has been two whole years since I started my channel with Prince of Persia The Sands of Time Blind, I thought it was about time to continue this series, and that is a chalice filling with blood to make a loading screen. That can't be good. Now, I haven't actually played any of the game, though I have rebound the control scheme to something usable. It had the start button as defaulting to block, and I just was not okay with that. So we'll go ahead and start a new game. I am, of course, playing the PC port of Prince of Persia Warrior Within because apparently I hate myself. But yeah, a quick note for those of you looking for the continuation of Dark Souls. Unfortunately, my computer ate a very large amount of important footage. And why is there hard rock in the background to a Mid-Eastern themed game? Let's not get into that. Regardless. My computer ate a ton of Dark Souls footage, so that project is currently on hold while I play back up to that point to be able to re-record it and then save alternate copies of my save file because I won't be making that mistake again. But until then, I thought this would be a good thing to do. Though the blood red Ubisoft logo is kind of making me wonder if that's true. But regardless, I have talked long enough. Let's go ahead and get started. On normal. Close to the wind.
kill him. My god, what did that introduction not have? It had boats, it had butts, it had dogs that were rabid that got swallowed by the void, it had everything it could ever need, I guess. Anyways, oh, is that, oh, that's the prince's new voice actor, isn't it? That's not good. So, Prince of Persia, Warrior Within, I admit I do know a little bit about it. It was the dark and gritty reboot to Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. Or, well, not a reboot, I guess. But so much as it is the same game, surprisingly, same characters. Just darker and grittier. And so we end up here. And, yeah. <laughs> Well, at least there's that. So, of course, we have our... All right, then. <laughs> that voice actor. It was really kind of a strange thing to hear about. These were games I always wanted to play as a kid, but never got the chance to. And then I heard that the beloved... You know... All right, then. The beloved reboot was changed to, well, this. Uh, this... Alright, let's see if I can figure out what Bun 3 and what Bun 4 actually are. Alright, hang on. Since we're in the tutorial, I should probably figure these things out before... before anything else happens, so let's get our... Gamepad going. Alright, bun three. Okay, so sword attack, then grab. Alright, that is bun four. I now feel like I. Do I really have to go down to the back bun to get out of this? Apparently I do. Alright. Bun four, then bun three. Bun four, of course, I think being grab. And that guy's dead. Oh, is this going to be a traumatic head crash? Close enough. <laughs> oh my god, what's with this music? <laughs> Alright, so... Prince of Persia, warrior within everyone, we have a guitar solo. Oh my god, I'm a pole dancer. Yes. I've always wanted to be an Arabian prince pole dancer. Alright, will this also do it? Oh, that'll, that'll just make me pole dance in different ways. Perfect. Now, I really don't want to go into this game with poor expectations, but here's a cutscene to cut me off. Or not. That was the shortest amount of pre-rendered footage that I think I've ever seen a game use. That was liberal. And of course, as you can see, our prince... Well, I guess the two years have not been kind to him because he is now Gritty McGritface. And hey, it's Butt! That's her new name. I don't care. <laughs> Good. Alright, so. There we go. Press bun one, then. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, I'm gonna go find what bun one is. But, first, I think we should consider the fact okay, it is roll, jump, accept, eject. Roll, jump, accept, eject. Oh, that was a great decapitation. All right, so bun one and bun four. Bun one, bun four. Oh, that was kind of cool, actually. Woo! All right, bun one, bun three, bun three. And Tink <laughs> gets split in half in slow motion. Perfect, I do apologize. I wish there was a easier way of seeing which bun was what, but unfortunately, I don't think there is. Either way, as you can see by the fact that we're now cutting enemies in half, this game is supposed to be darker and grittier. You will never reach our shores alive. For your sake, you better hope Is she I talking don't. about her butt? Oh hey, boss fight. That didn't take long. I can smell your fear from that's here. not fear, that's her butt. I'm sorry, that is that is probably the stupidest thing to get you fixated on. <laughs> Alright, so we are... It's ten minutes in, and we are already in a boss fight, so I... 
can kind of appreciate that, actually. Not many games would be willing to throw in, you in on a boss fight immediately. And unfortunately, I don't think that... I mean, I'm just wailing on the controls right now. <laughs> oh, was that far enough? Oh, language. <laughs> Oh my god, this is amazing. This is amazing in the worst way. Anytime you have to have to have a cutscene mid-fight to yell curses, you know you're in for a good time. Of course, the prince at one time was a pretty cool dude who was very jokey about, you know, these things. So, you can imagine the shock that this game had when it originally came out. But... That... Is probably a discussion for another day. It seems the Empress overestimated your ability. The Empress? What if I could reach this island? They say the Maharaja found portals there, where one could pass backwards through time. Back through time? To the birthplace of the Sands. Something terrible happened when our army traveled to the Maharaja's palace. You found the Sands of Time. Worse. I opened them. Whosoever shall open the sands must die. I was forced to kill those I fought beside. Those I had loved. But now an unstoppable beast chases you. For the first time in my life, I'm afraid. And you will die. I used the sands themselves to reverse time, making it as if the hourglass was never opened. The beast, the Dahaka, is the guardian of the timeline. You were supposed to die, so it will catch you and see to it that you meet your fate. It is better to try than to wait here for death. Madness. Even if you manage to reach the island, you'll still have to face the Empress of Time. I will travel back in time and prevent the sands from ever being made. If there are no sands, the Dahaka will have no quarrel with me. Go then, my prince. But know this. Your journey will not end well. You cannot change your fate. No man can. Alright, Tin Buck says that's me in the future. 10 bucks, 20 bucks, something like that. <laughs> so apparently we need to go back in time and stop the sands of time from being created at all. Because reasons. Reasons not even vaguely hinted at at the first game. But good thing is we woke up dead and maybe we'll have a platforming tutorial now. Or maybe the bird will eat us. My sword. Gone. Use the stick. You can always tell when a stick is going to be your weapon because, you know, it'll just be very conspicuously textured compared to everything else. <laughs> Alright, I can make birds explode. Good to know. Oh my. Oh my camera. What are you attempting to do? Anyways, drinking water at least still heals us, so there's that. Use mouse to move the camera. I'm not using a mouse. Okay, is the right stick, in fact. My crew. All are lost. I will find the one who did this. And she will pay. I'm pretty sure we know who is the one who did this. It was Butt. Alright. Excuse me as I wiggle up a wall a little bit, but not quite. 
And as we can see, we have a very diverse brown and clay, bleh, gray color scheme to this game. All right. All right. Button one? <laughs> All right. So on the bright side, the platforming is still good. So that is very good. And here we have to drink from a fountain saves the game. All right. Does this bring up a save option? Yes, here it is. The first save. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, well, you know, I think we have... It's a little short, but I think this has given me a good feel of what this game is going to be. And I am looking forward to the next one where we explode more birds. Oh my god, I'll explode a bird right now. All right, spoilers. In the next one, we'll explode even more birds. Oh my god, birds, stop attacking me. I'm trying to end a video. Okay, I think it's safe. I hope to see you in the next one, bird.